Hey guys, so as I told you, I bought um, two Nancy Drew games. I used that gift card I won um, to go to Best Buy and bought two Nancy Drew games for the PC. And normally PC games do not work that well on my laptop. I don't even have a disk drive on my laptop. I had to buy a separate portable one. Um, but Alice Return to Madness would always crash on my laptop. Uh, the Sims I haven't even tried to put on my laptop. Alice Return to Madness, I did, I put it on a USB stick and then put that on my laptop and would play it with the USB still in, even though it was already downloaded on my computer. Um, so now I have a disk drive. So it's still, the disk will just download the disk to my computer and then I don't need to keep the disk in while I play. Uh, but I wasn't highly expecting much of these um, because I'm like oh they're like 10 bucks a piece and they're computer games and they're not like you know Sims and you know Titanfall and uh, Diablo and World of Warcraft or anything they're nothing like that so I'm like looking at the back and they look like a uh, hidden search game that's one so that's what I thought it would be, but it's not, which is fine. It's still interesting. So I got 31 and 32. So 31 is Nancy Drew Labyrinth of Lies, and 32 is Sea of Darkness. So Sea of Darkness, it says it came out in 2015. So, fairly new. I thought these were maybe, like, 2010-ish. Because most games, when I go to Target, are, like, 2010 or 2008. Um, so, I only downloaded number 31 because I want to go in order. And I started playing it. The graphics are really, really good, surprisingly. Um, but, uh... It's very difficult. I'm I'm on I'm on the they give you two options. They give you amateur sleuth or expert sleuth. And I am terrible at this. I mean I can solve some of the puzzles, but like the weight one, I will admit I did go and look online how to solve that. And I'm kind of stuck on um some of the tasks because there's a little sidebar and it says tasks and notes. And I'm stuck on that, and I can't figure out how to get past it. So, I will admit, I try for a good half hour, and then if I don't figure out half, after a half hour, I will go and look it up. And I hate doing that, because I do want to do it on my own. But, yeah, so that's kind of what I've had to do for at least one of the puzzles. Um, which you'll see when I do the playthrough. Uh, so... Yeah, it's very confusing because they give you like 18 different tasks at a time and some of them you can do, some of them you can't do, some of them I don't even know how to do because I'm in the area where you need to do the task but nothing is popping up. Um, but the graphics are pretty good in terms of they are kind of like 3D people and they move and talk like 3D people. They don't they aren't like super pixelated or anything. They kind of remind me of like The Sims. So apparently there are 32 total Nancy Drew CD-ROM video games. Um, so Labyrinth of Lies, the one I'm playing, is taking place in Greek or in Greece, and it has the Greek mythology and stuff like that. Um, I still am trying to figure out where I'm supposed to print off the tickets for people. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try to play this probably again tonight um, and see how far I get. And then this one I haven't opened yet and I haven't put on my computer yet. But this one is Sea of Darkness. And this is the latest one. And this says it's 
about a legendary treasure and some captain went missing or may have not gone missing. So I'm going to play this one next. Um, or I could take turns playing if I can't figure out that one. I might play this one because I'm sure this one might be easier. But yes, I'm going to be doing playthroughs for these. Alright, bye guys.